We're back here on American Pro Wrestling, and I'm joined by the new APW television champion, Chief J. Eagle. And Eagle, you've got to be really proud of how you took that belt from Reverend Slim. That's right, Gene. I did just what I said I was going to do, and I come to Gacy for one reason, and that's to hurt somebody. And the night, I don't care who steps in that ring. With Chief J. Eagle, they're going down. Well, I've heard through the grapevine. Shut up! Like I was saying, I heard through the grapevine that man who may be coming here to Gaffney soon, gunning for you, is a legend himself, but Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. Oh, oh no! Let me tell you something, Boogie Woogie Man. You'll look in the face of death when you face Chief J. Eagle. I will be your Boogie Man. There you have it from the reigning television champion. We'll be back with more on American Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Wrestling fans, I'm joined here by one of the all-time greats, the Boogie Wee Man, handsome Jimmy Vallon. And Jimmy, on behalf of everybody here in Gaffney, South Carolina, welcome back to American Pro Wrestling. Whoosh, you got that right. First of all, I want to tell my people, my brothers and sisters, Boogie Woogie Man, handsome Jimmy, loves you all, baby. I'm so pleased, y'all. I've been with the WWF. WCW, ECW, XYZ, uh, WFOB, whatever it is, you name it, I've been there. But right now I'm with American Pro Wrestling. It's the hottest thing going today. And I got a very good friend, you understand, which is the commissioner, Chief Wahoo McDaniel. Huh? Give it up. God bless you, Chief. Boogie Woogie Man loves you. And I know he's got his hands full. I know the Chief's got his hands full as being commissioner of American Pro Wrestling. And he's got his hands full, I'll tell you with who. Everybody knows it's Jay Eagle. Huh? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I think, I think, you know, I think Jay Eagle been drinking a little too much of fire water, you understand? He's been acting strange. Well, I'll tell you something. I talked to, I talked to Wahoo McDaniel. Mr. Commissioner, and I says, what I want is a TV title shot. Now that's all I want. I want one shot. And uh, you know what Wahoo said? I think he's had some good words for you. He said he'll be soon. So that's what I'm here, American Pro Wrestling, after the TV title. Jay Eagle, I'm coming for you. There you have it, from the Boogie Wee Man, handsome Jimmy Valiant. He'll be in action right after this. Time out. Thousand at AOL.com. American Pro Wrestling. Wrestling joined by Deacon Bill Mudd and the Reverend Slim. Reverend, what a wonderful gathering we have here tonight in Gaffney, South Carolina. What a beautiful house it is here tonight. I can't think of nowhere else I'd rather be than right here in Gaffney, South Carolina. Amen. Let, hey, before we get started, I, Brother Deacon Mudd wants to give a little bit of testimony to these good, beautiful people here tonight. Tell them, Brother. Gaffney, South Carolina. What is that? Reverend Slim, I noticed the past couple of weeks you've been disturbed by this Jimmy Kinte running around spreading this whatever he's spreading. And I know it disturbs you. He is nothing more than a self-centered old heathen. And tonight, Jimmy Kinte, James McCone, whoever you want to be, brother, the only way to drive that evilness, to drive those hounds of hell out of your heart is for Brother Deacon Mudd and the Reverend Slim to beat the hell out of you. I don't care who it is, what it is we got to do. There ain't a soul walking here in Gaffney, South Milana that I don't want to show love to. Amen? 
Blessings be your name. Let freedom ring in this beloved community because when we rejoice together tonight at this beloved auditorium, Reverend Slim and Deacon Mudd will be standing in the street saying, free at last, free at last. Great God Almighty, I was free at last. Amen. Blessed be the name. There you have it from Reverend Slim. We'll be back with more on American Pro Wrestling. This is a legend. Shut up. Well, we saw him earlier out here in the match. He seemed to call it down there, but he seems like he's extra, extra one-sided when it comes to the uh, rating television champion. Oh, look at that. Jimmy Valiant wants to use the phone, it looks like. That's the Jimmy Valiant I know, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Valiant having a good time in there. He'll take a shortcut if he can get away with it. Oh, yeah. He got that phone right in the... Interesting. working on the uh, television champion. This is definitely a, the, the toughest test for Jay Eagle since he's won the TV title, no doubt about it. Jimmy Valiant still working on uh, Jay Eagle. Very smart move, working on that one body part. You know, he weakens that one body part, it makes it ineffective. Exactly, it resembles that Anderson style of wrestling. The one, the left arm. You know, once, once you lose use of one arm, there's not much you can do with the other either, you know? Absolutely. Don't forget, fans, coming up next will be our main event on this hour, a grudge match between Ricky Noble and Mack Truck. Uh, based on what happened last week, Ricky Noble will be gunning for revenge. That will be happening. Uh, another big match after this bad boys, but the most incredible hour I think we've ever had. Season beatings right here in Gaffney, South Carolina. And we don't know what's going to happen with the tag team belts. Each team's got a belt. It's going to be decided in the future match in Chesney to determine who's going to be the champs. That's right, that's right. Both teams got a bell. Max Chuck turning on Ricky Noble, who they came out as partners last week and left in, you know, separate directions. And they want, Ricky Noble definitely wants revenge. Well, I tell you, the fans here in Gaffney, South Carolina this week, well, they got their money's worth of more. I'll tell you that right now. No question about it. Well, the Boogie Woogie man rests up a very effective. Definitely. He's definitely very effective. I've been watching Jimmy Ryan since I've been watching wrestling. And, and I've... I've always been impressed since I was new how to return back as a Charlie Bass. He likes that. We're going to give a shout out to Charlie, by the way. Hope he's doing well this week and hope he's back here next week along with Danny Paris. Both of them are taking some well deserved time off. We hope to see you guys back here in the near future on APW. And still, uh, Jimmy Bayant continuing to go after the arm. Uh, he's continuing to uh, make the Eagle uh, squirmish a little bit. But Jay Eagle, the wildly veteran he is, got his foot in the rope. Again, uh, Derek, we got Jay Eagle's favorite referee in there tonight. I know, I was about to point that out. The mass ref, the unknown referee. I mean, you never know what he's going to do. He's had a lot of tendency not to see, not to see things when they go the way, you know, when they're going the way of the people like Chief Jay Eagle, like right. the new Mac truck. Like, right. You know, the power three and so on. Both there, he got away with it, I'll tell you that. Mass referee checking with Jay Eagle right now. The referee admonishing the boogie woogie man. I tell you, the Boogie Woogie Man's got that beard. I guess if I was going in there against him, I wouldn't want to come there. We'd be glad to come up to us and uh, talk to us. We'd glad to talk to you about APW Wrestling. And you can take in a great night of professional wrestling action. We're going to want a little tie up here between the two guys right now. Not a lot of flashy moves in this match, Derek. You won't see it. Not a lot. There's a lot of heat between these two guys. I'll tell you that. Yeah, there's definitely a contrast. We had the ladder match earlier. Daredevils, high-flying, and you got a completely... 
180 degrees in this match. Now Jay Eagle's working on the end. Talking about fair play here. Jay Eagle now stomping away on the Boogie Woogie Man and still twisting that arm. That's referee checking the Boogie Woogie Man, see if he wants to give up. Brian's clear, but that's for sure that the fans are behind him. Boogie Woogie Man always has the fans support. He has great crowd support wherever he goes. There's no doubt about it. And Jay Eagle earlier running down Gaffney. I mean, he's obviously not going to have any fans around here. No, and, and you know, Chief Jay was, you know, I don't know what's going on with people like Chief Jay with the uh, Max Charles, you know, who are in the past mm -hmm. game to play, play by the rule book, you know, but now, you know, they're just, they're just doing whatever it takes to win the NCAA. I think it, it's good. He still got that fist in the air, though. He hasn't let go yet. Oh, Jimmy Valiant let go. Here's a cover. One, two. The match to stop counting. Come here. That's exactly what I was coming to say. Hey! This is. He's just standing there. He's got about 20 shots right now. I mean, Jay Eagle's out. He is out. He should go over the place. I mean, what can you do if you're Jimmy Hunter? What else can you do if you're Jimmy Hunter? This is terrible. It is not Jeffrey. Uh-oh. Now they take it actually his own way here. Jay Eagle keep it. He's got brass knuckles back. Oh! Brass knuckles right to the face of Jimmy Valiant. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Highway robbery. Wrestling fans are winning this contest. And still, APW's Hollywood champion, Keith Jay Eagle.